But the Lord says, Stop crying. Don't fill your eyes with tears. You'll be rewarded for your work. And this message is from the Lord. The people of Israel will come back from their enemy land. Israel, there is hope for you. And this message is from the Lord. Your children will come back to their own land. Why? This seems like one of the most commonly asked questions in life, yeah? You feel that God does not see you. You feel that God does not care about your pain. You don't seem to understand how a good God could allow you to cry. And sometimes you just want to know why. What exactly could be the purpose of all your suffering? Why does he allow bad things to happen to you? Why does he even allow them to happen at all? Unfortunately, you might not always know the reason why. However, what you should always know for sure is that there is a reason, in fact, a particular reason to why God allowed it to happen. Now, the truth is that God allowed his own dearly beloved son to suffer, precisely because he loves you and I so much. For he who spared not his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also with him grant us all things? God did not promise us a life free of tears, challenges, tests, or trials. Inasmuch as he would not intentionally cause them to happen to you, he, in all his mightiness, in his all-knowingness, he would always make those situations turn out for your good. Now, the Bible is full of examples of people that followed God and were beloved by him, yet they faced every form of adversity here on earth. Remember Romans chapter 8 verse 28 says, And we know that God works together all things for the good of them that love him and those that are being called according to his purpose. As long as God is involved, he allows the pain. He allows that pain that causes you to cry because he is behind the scenes stirring the course of affairs in your life. I know it doesn't seem like it. I know that the pain might be unbearable. But listen, if God is in it, all you have to do is wipe your tears. You wipe your tears knowing fully well that there's a reason behind that pain. And as a matter of fact, a particular reason. So the Bible makes us understand that God permits suffering because God has a purpose for every tear that drops from our eyes. We all understand this at a basic human level. Imagine you have to take your one-year-old child for vaccination and this process involves needles. Not every adult can stand needles. Oh, definitely, I can relate to this. And not every adult can compose themselves at the sight of a needle. But I'm almost sure that you have an idea of how babies react at the sight of doctors. Oh, they go berserk. But how do you explain to your one-year-old child that the pain that the pain process you're about to take him or her through will cause him some tears, some pain, even agony, but it's all for his good. Remember that your only child sees the needle and he would definitely feel the pain, but all that you're doing is to fortify and protect him for the future. The Bible does not necessarily give us the specific micro reasons for our sufferings. Why does he not heal me in my current situation? Why does he not heal me in my current situation? Why did he not intervene? Why has my suffering lasted so long? Why this disease? Why now? Has there ever been a time in your life where you found yourself wondering, How long, O oh Lord? How long will these struggles and disappointments last? How long will we have these financial difficulties? How long will these health issues persist? How long will all the difficulties in this relationship last? How long will I struggle with this addiction? How long will these temptations last? How long will it take me to get over this loss? But keep in mind that another reason for your tears is that God wants to display his glory. Oh yeah. Remember that story of the man in the Bible who was blind from birth? John chapter 9 verses 1 to 3. And passing by, he saw a man that was blind from birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he should be born blind? Jesus answered, Neither the man sinned nor his parents, but it was that the works of God should be displayed in him. So that lets us look at the story of Lazarus, Jesus' friend. This is a situation where Jesus himself wept. Yes, Jesus cried. Now, a certain man was ill, Lazarus of Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. It was Mary who anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair. It was this same Mary whose brother Lazarus was ill. So the sisters sent for him saying, Lord, he whom you love is ill. But when Jesus heard it, he said, this illness does not lead to death. It's for the glory of God, so that the Son of God may be glorified through it. 
and it sounded weird that Lazarus, the friend of Jesus, would die and Jesus would let him die. The one who has the ability to kill and make alive. The one in his all-knowingness, in his almightiness, let his friend die. All for what? So that the glory of God might be shown? That is amazing. And when Lazarus fell ill, Jesus didn't immediately come to his rescue. Of course not. In fact, Jesus didn't show up until he died because of his sickness. Lazarus' family, especially his sisters Mary and Martha, they were heartbroken over the loss of their brother. I know at one point they were probably even furious at Jesus. They were probably even furious at why he would let his own friend die. I'm pretty sure if Jesus was alive today, oh definitely they, they ain't talking to Jesus no more. They are definitely not talking to Jesus again. I'm so sure they were disappointed. They were disappointed because this Jesus that goes about healing people and raising the dead could not help their own situation. And since Jesus had the power to do miracles, why did he allow all this to happen in the first place? And then he goes further to say that it's for the glory of God. So could it be that that evil that is happening to you is for the glory of God? Could it be that that friend or that partner or that fiancé or that person that you're about to let go of is for the glory of God? Could it be? Think about it. Beloved, God allows suffering to bring himself glory. God can use that thing which is making you cry to bring about a good purpose, even when he never tells us what the purpose is. Now, even when Jesus died and was buried, his disciples and family were pained. Their master, their brother, their son, and their friend was gone. Lazarus was gone. John chapter 20 verses 11 to 15. But Mary stood outside the tomb weeping. And as she wept, she bent down and looked into the tomb. And she saw two angels in white sitting where Jesus' body had been lying. And one on the head and one at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Mary replied, They've taken my Lord away. And I don't know where they've put him. And when she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there. But she did not know that that was Jesus. And Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Who are you looking for? Because she thought he was the gardener. She said to him, Sir, if you've carried him away, tell me where you've put him, and I will go and take him. So could you imagine that Jesus had to die for you and I to be redeemed and restored back to God? It's a very painful experience. It's a painful experience for his loved ones and also for Jesus himself. But for the sake of the bigger picture, he had to die. He cried. His loved ones cried too. But it happened for a reason. Like I said earlier, a particular reason. So beloved, wipe your tears. Embrace this understanding that what has happened to you is for a reason. Remember God loves you so much and he will never, never ever leave you nor forsake you. So keep praying. Keep trusting, keep rejoicing, keep worshipping. And as you praise and worship God, it brings perspective to your problems. So when you're struggling to find the right answer to the question, the question about why God allowed this to happen, try asking him to help you understand through sincere prayer. Even though he might not be able to give you the full answer yet, he can help you find comfort in the gradual understanding. Until that day, until when you finally get to know and understand the reason for your tears, do not forget that he's aware and he's putting things in motion just to show his care for you. So wipe your tears, keep hope alive, do not lose faith, and stand firm in his love and fix your gaze on the one who never fails, because he will always come through for you. God bless you.